Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer here with another episode of Sim Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. And we're right outside Hubrix Comics again. Uh, there's a TARDIS part we need to get. Right, buddy? Yeah. Alright, let's go get that TARDIS part. And back inside, and are you fucking kidding me? Shut that fucking thing up. Alright, everything's repopped. Which means the ghoulies are back. Although on the bright side, everything is freshly loot. Well, mostly freshly lootable. Give me half a second, I'll show you what's not. Drain. D R A I N E. No. D R A I N E. No. When you get something that's got three. Uh, when you get a three, that makes it pretty easier. D R A I N E. I N E. No, that's a four, actually, so that's not going to work. D R A I N. D R A I N. Yep, there we go. Plagued. Okay, good to know. Our new companion friend likes it when we hack terminals. Well, for what it's worth, we can pick this again. That's it. But for what it's worth, one axe per playthrough. So the ghouls are stirred up, but damned if we know where they are. How did Doggo get up there? Good job, Doggo! Yeah, come back to the rest of us, please. Don't do that again. But he did quiet it down a bit, and I'll say one thing about the next gen update. It fixed all the glitches we had in here last time. So, I mean, that's a hell of a win. Now, I'll leave the light on here in here because it's going to be too difficult for you guys to see what the hell I'm doing. And you're the ones that are supposed to be watching. It's not fair to you guys. If it's not fair to you guys, it's not fair to me. And I want this to be as enjoyable as possible with my crazy ass playthrough style. A lot of junk in here, as I said. And it doesn't matter what level you are, do not pass up the burnt magazines. 
That's free money. Yes, I know, they only sell for a cap apiece, but... The main thing is, they don't weigh a damn thing, so... That is literally free money whenever you desperately need it, and you can just keep hoarding ad infinitum. Because, again, they don't weigh anything. Ooh, a pipe pistol. Ooh. Everyone do your best LGM impression here. Ooh. Okay, this has become extraneously easy. Is there in the first place uh, Fallout who sent us to to get a TARDIS park for? was the frickin' Wilson Automatoys factory. And then later sent us to the uh, to the corporate HQ. And then I looked my decorator in the eye and said, just mess my shit up. I'm guessing that's the story of this place. If anyone asks why people wear sunglasses and doors, just show them this room. She's talking, of course, about the raining sunroof. But on the bright side, since we can see the holes in the floor now, and not guess which are holes and which is a glitch, it makes getting through here that much easier. Danger, huh? Saw that coming. Who said that boxing glove was just going to get her killed? Including feral brains. Ah, I need to leave this on. It's too damn dark in here otherwise. See?
Bowling pins. Tell me the fucker fell through the floor. Yep. Fucker fell through the floor. Okay, we know what's over there. That's the rad rooch in the uh, director's office. See? Too damn dark. Otherwise. And all that's left are... is the glowing one and his lackeys up above. I did not want to do that. One, all right. Well, that woke his ass up. Oh, that's the end of the glowing one. See, nice and glowy here. Ah, okay. The grenade popped the fire extinguisher. Hey, you know what? I just thought of something. Y'all having a hard time seeing, right? At least up here we can do something about it. Did that help? Eh, not really. All right, let's throw it on max brightness. Let's see what happens. I know we did this last time. All right, max brightness, and that helps. So, not nearly enough. You remember it was this table here that had uh, the quest for the uh, Dovahkiin helmet. There's the comparator we need. So I think you all know where we're going next. That suitcase is still empty. And stuff over here never repopped. 
I mean, I don't, there's a couple of things I didn't expect to, but oh well. All right, back outside the, on the roof. And R4 wants to talk. What's on your mind? Just want to say it's been fun skipping through the Commonwealth with you. Granted, it's been a while since I've worked with a partner, so there's been a few hiccups. I think a couple of times I messed up and was slow covering your sex. I don't know. I haven't really noticed. <laughs> then forget I even brought it up. Either way, I'll get better at the whole team thing. It's like riding a bike. Just give me a week to ditch the training wheels. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got some beers out of this. All right. Hate to do this, but we're going to fast travel back to the new Cafe Ola because we got a few things to drop off, like junk. So let's do that real quick because it's a lot safer than fall damage. All right, back once again, home sweet home inside. The new Cafe Ola. Alright, that's not bad at all. We got a lot of beers to, to put back. Jeez. Alright. And yeah, we got some sellables. Apparently, I forgot about that. And we got some dismantleables and some scrappables. Alright, so let's take care of the weapons. Alright. Alright, we'll take off the improved short barrel. I need to look at righteous, uh, give righteous authority a look one day. Gamma wave emitter. We'll take that off. Sharpshooter's grip. We'll take that off. Reflex sight. Yeah, we'll take that off. And the fine tuned beam focuser. Yeah, we'll take that off. I guess we never did take off any of that stuff. We're down to about 150 pounds now, so that's a lot better. And let's see if there's anything else we really should get rid of. And well, we need to go to Good Neighbor. We got a bunch of stuff to sell. Actually, there's one more place we do need to go. All right. Last I checked, she doesn't have an issue with drugs. Three med X's. I'm pretty sure I'm never ever gonna need those great men tats, but you never can be too sure. And we'll grab the Brajet and Bromiums, because that is the ultimate, those are the ultimate panic buttons. The ultimate case of oh crap, I'm not gonna live through this. Alright. Where are we at? 151 pounds still. Do we have any extras droppables? Uh, just a lot of sellables. That's what it is. All right. So off to good neighbor we go. All right, inside the Hotel Rexford. Let's talk to Buddy. Hey, Buddy. Greetings, Buddy. Here for a flat, or did you want a cold beverage? 
tell me a joke. There is a band called 1,023 megabytes. They haven't had any gigs yet. Oh. <laughs> do you your whistle, or do you require a lap? I'll take a beer. Cold and refreshing. And that will lighten the load considerably. And there's Fred. Hey, Fred. I am so happy to see you again. I got all kinds of candy in your interest. You know, we still haven't done his mission yet. I've got a few minutes to browse. I got this one chem here that... Oh, man. All right, gotta lighten the load a bit. What are we down to again? 103 pounds. There we go. See you again. Would you like a cold one, or did you mm. want to hear a joke? Oh, we'll trigger another joke. Tell me a joke. Ariel, Papyrus, and Comic Sans walk into a bar, and the bartender says, "Oi." We don't serve your time in here. Oh, <laughs> that's horrible. Whistle, or do you require a lap? No thanks. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Back to the TARDIS. Back inside the TARDIS. The old girl's waiting for us. All right. Open the hatch and the die. Oh. Okay, tier three. She is good to go. All right. We're gonna fire that up. And what are we going to do next? All right. We need to go and finish University Point. And back once again at, in University Point, just outside Sedgwick Hall, and look who's there waiting for us. Hey, little fucker. I was in no enemy detected. Oh wait, Tinker Tom's special. You go with Vats. Apparently I don't have enough action points for Vats to work properly. me oh that takes care of that well now we can safely go inside and we'll have to go out onto the rooftop there and loot the boy inside Cedric Hall Have here. Please repod. My scanners must be malfunctioning. It's a makeshift bomb, but I don't. Oh, there's the tension trigger. Hostile sensor reading detected. Actually. Head blew off and it's still going. Nice aim, dear. Nope, 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 nope. I have found.
Man, no wonder I was having a hard time. That the fucker was pretty heavily armored. Jeez. Here, nice. get the ammo and save. This was a successful fight. Looking at the Dean's terminal here. Maybe. There we go. Just controls the safe. Fuck it, I want the XP. Ah, damn it. That's alright. I'm not exactly hurting on lockpicks on uh, bobby pins here. There we go. And some explosives, some bottle caps, some vegetable starch, and some silver. And a medex. I didn't forget about that. Got it. Hey, Nuka Cola, nice. Okay, that's the end of that. And a Tesla Science Magazine, hell yeah. Nice. Give me the too long delivery version of that one. <laughs> Great. So R4 is a TLD yard kind of girl, isn't she? Alright, anyway, we need to go back outside. Because remember, this is where the legendary is. And back outside, Sedgwick Hall. Oh, jeez, corpse is literally right there. Oh, another piece of pack armor. Very nice. All right, cool. Back in we go. I'm back once again inside Cedric Hall. Hey, 
up. <clears throat> a lot of locked doors here, in case y'all haven't noticed. Yes. There are many different ways to get through here. <clears throat> but for the sake of those who did not watch my pr uh, prior playthrough... For those who don't take, who concentrate exclusively on combat or just don't do the route I normally do, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the I can't pick a damn thing route. And that involves going up to Jack's terminal here. Take the holotape. Not gonna really need it, but the main thing is, is to open up the elevator door, drop through. Save before you do anything stupid. And you're going to start fighting Krabbies. And that gets you to through this one, which is nice. And there was another door over here in the Dean's office that leads us somewhere we're not ready to be yet. We'll catch back up to that. But anyway, since we picked this one, we can go back through. And then you go down through here and to here. And the, oh boy, glowing Mirelar. Concentrate on the legs. Oh shit. Okay, we've crippled them. Not too bad. You know the drill by now. Successful fight means we save. And we got a little thing here. Blah. There we go. Nice. A lot of ammo in there. I like that. Since you can't really get eggs from red chickens in this game, you're gonna have to get your eggs somewhere. So, lurkies it is. So if we go through this way, Pick this lock now. That's it. 
and that gets us out to the second level. And we got another lurky here. Let's wake him up. Notice there's no real sane way to get up there. And we've been here. So drop through that hole is not a smart idea. I did that for you guys. So what you do through the hole where you killed the lurky. I missed. Okay, they were being annoying. Don't miss them very often, but when you do, you tend to miss in droves. Oh, shit. Okay. Got lucky there. Okay, successful fight means we save, because, man, I hate fighting glowers. Shit, shit. No, dumbass. <coughs> yeah, well, you brought that on yourself. Y'all need to stop fighting each other. Okay, now that that's all done, we're going to save again because you've seen it's just how annoying hatchlings get at times. And anyway, we're back in the Dean's office. So if you can pick that lock... You can save a whole lot of headaches. And that's the end of the lurkies. Now we'll be back with the synths before too long. Oh. Well, hello. Another one. Get him, doggo. Oh, 
Well, as always, successful fight means we save. And apparently a reload. Didn't know since had allergies. You know, that doesn't sound as good as, it, as as you think. Heavy weapons, you generally just want outright damage and plus 10. Yeah, whoopee. And critical damage freezing? Yeah. It's good on a melee weapon. It's good on pistols. Really good on auto. Well, no, best on pistols because of the crit. But melee is pretty good too, but on a missile launcher, not so much. Okay, we're way down again, but I'm not really concerned about that. Because... How you doing, buddy? Oh, boy. Eh, never mind, boy. I hate it when that happens. Hey. Just say the word. Alright, so... We'll load some junk on R4. She can wear a lot more. Wow. No. Okay, that works. Okay, one last one, and that would be you. Okay. 
Okay, and that's it for that. He had a nice shotgun, though. And this is where you end up finding Jack, unfortunately. Nice laser pistol. It's definitely scrappable. And there you go. That's how that all wraps around. But... I'm going to show you guys something else. We can get out through that door, but we're going to poke around here a little bit more. Just a little bit. And out we go. Back to the Commonwealth. And back outside in the Commonwealth. And if you look down, we can see plenty of Mirelurk eggs and some blood leaf. So if you find yourself short on either, have at. And we have a toilet on an island there, of sorts. And the deep scan is complete. Let's see where it sends us. Uh, I was afraid of that. Fallout who loves to send me there. And today was clearly no exception. It's gonna, and that is Gunner's Plaza. But before we do anything, we need to go back to Mercer Safe House because we need to set up our boy Deacon with a job. Whoops. And back once again at Mercer Safe House. Park water construction site, whatever the hell you want to call it. And let's take a look at it. Oh crap, we're short on beds. Alright, where the hell's the entrance to this thing? It was over here. It is. How the hell did I miss that? Oh well, it is what it is. But we need to set up some more beds, first and foremost. Okay, security improvements at Jamaica Plain. Okay, why is it not letting me drop here? Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Whatever it is you got in mind, that's not what we're building. All right, so that'll get the build the bedrooms part squared away. Okay, caravan's up and running. Good. Got power, but we need water and food? Really? Okay. Oh yeah, that'll definitely work. Okay. 
Oh, okay, everybody's working agility. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, you know what? I think for I was going to put everything inside, but I, you know, if we have an exception for power, I think we could do an exception for water too. And with Deacon's uh, superior perception, you just go straight to high tech water. Okay, need to build stairs, and I think we're going to need to restart the construction on that. Oh, no. Okay, why is this not connecting to anything? Okay. So what we're going to do is... We're going to swap out the pole. Maybe. Anyway, let's start the construction here. And why are we not getting, for whatever reason, we're not connected to anything? That's weird. I call bullshit on that because we should be close enough to Jamaica Plain where should we should be able to connect oh well well if we're having a problem with that then we need to do this I don't understand why we're getting that. That explains why they're grumpy here. Okay, we got the rare, we just need more building materials.
Okay, I was not expecting to have to deal with this. And we're going to turn that off, because we're not hitting that up anytime soon. Okay, here's what we're going to do, since we don't quite have enough building materials. We'll switch to advanced. Actually, if we only have 33 power... go with advanced. I don't know, the last time I did that on limited power I ended up with a problem. Let's just go with basic. Let's just get the basics up. Ha ha ha. Well, while we're here, let's dismantle some. Sh let's dismantle some stuff. until the stupid thing decides to want to work. And we'll sit on those for now. Because we'll need to dismantle those, but we don't have the junk, quite have the junk for that, so... At least not here. At least that'll help with some of the building materials. And at least with water, that's one, th one other thing checked off this list. that gets water here. So that's one one more thing checked off the list. Let's take a look at how this is going to shape up. Up to 43. Eh, that's something. Okay, this video is starting to get a bit long. And next episode, we're going to turn everything in. And that's a bit raised up, but I'll deal with that. Yeah, next we will turn everything in, and we will keep on keeping on with the railroad. I'll try and get as many of those done as humanly possible. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in, and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle-Aged Gamer. This is Sim Settlement 2 for Fallout 4. I'll see you all next time.